Hello guys and welcome back to another video. First off, I just want to thank everyone so so much for hitting 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is an unprecedented number. And honestly, you guys have subscribed so fast that the 30,000 sub celebration video that I had planned is not finished yet. So you guys are absolutely nuts and I really do appreciate all your support. Uh, I've been doing YouTube regularly now for just over a year and a half, I think, and it's been great. I should have started it uh, way earlier than I did. And there will definitely be a lot of new stuff coming to the channel with all the new game releases with, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and Gundam Evolution and all this stuff coming on. So thank you again for 30,000 subs. But in this video, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about Battlefield 2042 Season 2, including the most important detail that Battlefield has added, Andrew Tate as a specialist. But before we go into further details, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you turn notifications on so you don't miss an upload. So, first things first, let's just go over everything that you actually are getting with Battlefield 2042 Season 2. First off, you get one new map in Stranded, one new specialist in Charlie Crawford, aka Andrew Tate, two new vehicles in the Polaris PZR and EBLC Ram, three brand new weapons in the AM40, Avancees, and PF51, one new gadget, the Concussion Grenade, vault weapons, which are the M16A3, M60, P90, AKS-74U, and M98B, and brand new portal content. It goes without saying that this is definitely more content than we'd received in Season 1. I do think most of it hinges on whether or not this map is good, and Flackfire, who has apparently played the map already, says that he believes it's the best map in the Battlefield 2042 base game, better than Exposure even. So we'll see how the map plays when it actually releases. But let's go over some of the things that I listed in further detail now. In a stunning turn of events, instead of EA DICE banning Andrew Tate from their platform, they have actually added him into Battlefield 2042 as the Master of Arms, Charlie Crawford. Charlie Crawford's special abilities allow him to summon a mounted minigun out of thin air, and his trait is when he revives people, they get revived with more gadget ammo. Um, on a serious note though, I have seriously no fucking idea what they're thinking, adding somebody that can just summon a minigun turret with a shield out of thin air. Um, this is gonna be a massive problem, in my opinion, if it's tanky at all. This better be easily destroyed, because you better believe that this is gonna be looking through every doorway, staring at every staircase, staring at every ladder on top of a building. I really think that this might be a massive problem, but hopefully I'm completely wrong. And yes, if you were wondering, you can just kill the person using the turret and use it yourself. So I have a feeling there's going to be some pretty interesting situations where you go behind the entire enemy team, kill the person using this mounted turret, jump on the turret yourself, and just mow people down. So I don't really know how this is going to play out, but I am really worried for how like many of these turrets are going to be everywhere. But now that I think about it, he is in fact top G Andrew Tate, and he can basically do whatever he want. And we're honestly privileged that DICE added him into the game. And I do have to admit, I am looking forward to the shit posting about this specialist looking like Andrew Tate. It's going to be great. The memes are going to be fantastic. But let's move on from the shit posting for now. Uh, the other things that I wanted to talk about are definitely the weapons being added to Battlefield 2042 Season 2. If you remember in Battlefield 2042 Season 1, we only received two weapons, one of which is kind of like a meme weapon, which was a crossbow, and the other was the BSVM, which kind of remains the most overpowered weapon in the entire game, even after DICE nerfed it. But as of today, we are learning that they're going to be adding a lot more weapons than I initially anticipated. So they're adding three brand new weapons, the AM-40 Assault Rifle, the Avancees Light Machine Gun, which I believe to have a lower fire rate, but more like a scar damage model. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does have 200 rounds in a magazine. And finally, the secondary weapon, the PF-51. It is fully automatic. It's basically like a 900 RPM G18 with a 50 round drum magazine as a secondary. So basically, I don't see any reason why you would use the Magnum or the Glock anymore if this thing truly is as strong as we think it is. And on top of that, you have to remember they're adding vault weapons into Battlefield 2042, meaning they're basically taking weapons from Portal and putting them into the base game. The, the vault weapons that will be available as soon as Season 2 drops are the M16A3 and the M60E4. These weapons will be locked behind assignments, but you can unlock them. They are now adding more portal weapons later in Season 2, the P90, the AKS-74U, and the M98B. 
And according to Battlefield Bulletin, they're actually adding five more portal weapons in the AUG A3, AEK-971, M2 Carbine, SKS, and Barrett M95 Sniper Rifle. So there is a ton of stuff being added weapon-wise in Battlefield 2042. Not all of it will be usable in the base game, though. Moving on to the new map that is being added, Stranded. Some people that have played this already, namely Flakfire, have stated that they think it's actually probably the best Battlefield 2042 base game map. And a community manager on Twitter urged people that it doesn't play anything like Discarded, even though there is a big boat. And alongside this new map are two new vehicles that will be added to Battlefield 2042, but one of them will not be actually available until later in the season in the 2.1 update after Season 2 already released. This vehicle is the Polaris PZR transport vehicle, and we will have to wait for it. But the other vehicle, the EBLC Ram heavy four-seat BTR like death cannon vehicle, will be immediately available upon Season 2 update. It has turreted weapons, it has a tactical spawn beacon, which allows the entire team to spawn on it, by the way. And if that wasn't enough, it looks like this vehicle will actually receive the first sort of APS system in Battlefield 2042. If you remember in Battlefield 4, tanks had the ability to activate APS, which would deflect incoming projectiles and basically save them from getting hit a couple times. It looks as though this new vehicle will receive that same ability in the form of a AMP ability, it's called, or AMP. So this thing will definitely be more annoying to kill than the regular tanks, but it doesn't seem to be like a full-on MBT. It might just be like a light transport vehicle or maybe some sort of BTR. And last but certainly not least, we have to talk about the fact that apparently they're adding a concussion grenade to Battlefield 2042, as if there wasn't enough annoying bullshit in the game to die to and to be irritated by. Yes, I would love to be concussioned. Please concussion me, dice. I love it. Yes, concussion me directly in the fucking head. And with that, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you got a concussion while listening to that last section. And of course, down in the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts about the specialists, the maps, the new weapons, the assignments, the concussion grenades, the portal content, everything, all the above. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. All right.